In two of my previous videos, I talked about what constitutes real fans of anime versus fake fans, and I also defined what gatekeeping is and why it is important. In this video, I will tell you how to gatekeep correctly. To make things easier to understand, I will briefly summarize my previous two videos. If you want to watch them to get a more in-depth presentation on those topics, they are available to watch on my channel. In my video on who qualifies as a real fan of anime, I said that the fake fans only watch mainstream anime. They have not branched out and more thoroughly explored the art form. This means that they have a very limited uh, understanding of what anime is truly like and of what topics it covers, and they also do not understand much about Japanese culture. This means that when they are exposed to more extreme things, such as lolly characters, for example, their foreign sensibilities are offended, and they will often harass and call others names based on what shows they like. A real fan of anime has taken the time to watch many anime spanning a wide variety of genres. They have watched both well-known and obscure series. They recognize that Japan as a culture is okay with depicting some things in media that they might not be comfortable with, but they let others like what they like without bothering them, and they do not demand that Japan change because they don't like what they see. In my video about gatekeeping, I covered gatekeeping at the company and consumer levels. Since anyone watching this video is likely to be a consumer of media rather than a producer, I will just summarize gatekeeping on the consumer front. Gatekeeping in simplest terms is the act of keeping people out of fandoms who will make everyone else miserable by demanding changes to suit them that no one else wants. This means that you do not just introduce anyone who expresses interest to a given hobby. You need to be selective. And now for the main topic, how to gatekeep correctly. Everyone has hobbies. Some people like to garden, some like to read, some like to sew, some like to go hiking. These are pretty normal things for pretty much anyone to participate in. Geek hobbies in particular, which can include things like gaming, anime, comics, D&D, Magic the Gathering, Warhammer, and so on, are unique. Historically, geek hobbies served as a refuge for social outcasts. People who participated in them, participated in them excuse me, were the ones who got bullied. Then something happened. These hobbies began to go mainstream. As they started to go mainstream, they attracted a whole bunch of fake fans. People who wanted to appear interested in things that they never would have given a second glance at before, but now they want to be cool by being interested in what's popular. It is these fake fans that we need to be on guard for. When I say we need to gatekeep our hobbies, I don't mean we need to keep everyone out without exception. If we did that, we would keep out many people that could have been on our side. The way to properly gatekeep is to only introduce to your hobbies those you trust. For example, if someone expresses interest in an anime, in, in anime, but you know this person is morally uptight and would become outraged if they ever saw a sexualized lolly character, for example, Try to avoid the topic altogether, or recommend an anime that would most definitely cause them to leave it behind altogether, like Redo of Healer. The worst kinds of anime fans, and I put fans in quotation marks there, are the ones who realize they do like some anime, but they will constantly harass and call others names because they like particular anime. It's better to just keep these people out altogether so they can't make others miserable. That was just one example, but I think you most likely understand and can apply this thinking to other hobbies. Gatekeep. Only encourage those you trust. If someone you know is expressing interest in a hobby, but you know this person is only going to be trouble, do everything you can to discourage them from participating. 
This is how we keep our geek communities safe. That's everything. Thanks for watching.